it says positive attitude attitudes for breakthroughs positive positive attitude for breakthrough and then you begin to read words like remember that remember what god has blessed no man can destroy you are blessed child of god without you making a mess you will not have a message no pain no gain no wounds no wisdom all things are working together for our good everything you have been through in life is a down payment for your destiny god is working all things out for your good everything you have been through in life everything that you and i have been through in life they are what down payment for our destiny so don't think that your mistakes and the things you've been through are bad they are all down payment you are going to use them as wisdom as guidance for to help you in your future it is not what you've been through that matters it is where you are going that matters it is not what you've been through i went through this i went through this it is where you are going at the end of the day whatever you've been through should still lead you to where you must be you understand what may be your weakness today may be your strength tomorrow so don't be discouraged never quit what may be your weakness today oh you are complaining i can't do this you feel that you are you, you are incapable you are weak you are incompetent what may be your weakness today may be your strength tomorrow what may be your weakness today will be your strength tomorrow so don't be discouraged and don't quit if you only give, not give up and keep on pressing on because that your weakness become your strength and through the strength you can also encourage those who are going through the same weakness you need both a mentor and a tormentor in your life you need both a mentor and a tormentor in your life to make it a mentor will encourage you to fulfill your destiny a mentor will come in and encourage you and lift you up to fulfill your destiny and you also will find a tormentor who will come to provoke you to fulfill your destiny like hannah she needed a tormentor to provoke her to go to the house of god to pray penina was a tormentor she was provoking her tormenting her making her feel restless some of us some people that are gossiping and lying and laughing and mocking at us they are tormentors you need them because some of you come here and I'm a mentor. I'm trying to encourage you. You don't like it. You don't want to receive it. But when you go and tormentors are putting you down, laughing at you, saying, looking down on you, then you rise up and say, no, I'm not going to allow this person, whatever they are saying, and for them to laugh at me. That was what provoked Hannah to go to the house of God to pray to, for her to get her somewhere. So in life, you need both what? A mentor and a tormentor. To make it a mentor mentors will come and encourage you and build you and, and exhort you and help you by encouragement a tormentor will also come in and what provoke you some of you at your workplace they provoke you and treat you disrespectfully no you need that person so they are telling you go back to school you can be better than this we don't need you here we want you to go up because of the tormentor something we have to now begin to what um press on for higher height you need both mentors and tormentors to make it. Always remember that you are here by God's divine design to shine. You are designed by God to be a winner and not a loser. Your falling or failing is not final. But it is when you stay down that makes you that makes it final. Your falling down or failing is not final. Many people have fallen. Many people have made mistakes. But if you remain down, that is what makes it final. So get up in the name of Jesus Christ and try again. Stop affirming your fears and your doubts by your negative confession. Stop affirming your fears and your doubts by your negative confession every day you are talking about bad things and uh, my mother this and this happened to me and this happened you are always the very things you are saying is only affirming your fears which is crippling you from not stepping out in faith to fulfill destiny speak life and speak positive things into your life for life and death lies in the power of the tongue don't be afraid to fail try even when you are afraid 
God has not given us the spirit of fear. Don't, don't be afraid to fail. Thomas Addison, the one who manufactured whatever the Bob, I heard he made more than a thousand to five thousand mistakes, errors. But he kept on trying, 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 trying. So don't be afraid to fail. So what? If I go and take the driving uh, exams and I fail, so what? If I go and uh, it doesn't go well, so what? Try anyhow. Try anyhow. Don't be afraid to fail. If I fail, so what? Is that the end of the world? At least I've tried. Now when you try, then you know your weaknesses and what you did wrong or did wrong. Then you try again or try again until you will be perfected and make it. Live your dreams and your vision, not your fear and doubt. Don't let your life be surrounded by your fears and doubt, but begin to live your dreams and visions. Don't let the negative words of people against you to become your reality. Don't let the negative words of people become your reality. They said you can't make it, so now you've accepted I can't make it. They said you are not good enough, so you have accepted that you are not good enough. They said you can't get married, so you have accepted it, so you are not married. So you have allowed the negative words of and negative opinions of people about you to become your reality because that's what you have accepted. You are refusing to accept the voice of God concerning your life, so you have allowed yourself to be a product of people's opinion. Remember that when you do many good things, people will forget. You will bless people, do kind to people. You will do many good things. People will forget it. But when you make one mistake, everybody will remember that mistake. Do you remember what she did? Do they, but the many good things you did in life, they don't remember. The one mistake, oh, that's what Brother K did. They will remember that. That is life. Focus on God and not man. Because man, you do as many good you can do. Don't, don't forget it. Make one mistake. And that's what they will remember. Incremental improvement is better than perfection that is postponed. Incremental improvement. The first time I wrote a book, it came out as a yellow book. Where is it? I have for, that, that was my first. I'm not a writer. But God has given me so much revelation. And I can't go about telling people, I have, uh, uh, this is a revelation that God is telling me about what's going on in the spiritual realm. So I said, how to write a book. Yes, I don't know how to write a book. I don't know. English is my last, my weakness and everything. So I didn't wait until I was good in English. I didn't wait until I was perfected in English. I stepped out in faith anyway five years ago and wrote the first book. This was how it came. Spiritual diagnosis. If you read that book, more than hundred mistakes. <laughs> more than hundred mistakes. And I anyhow, but I, at least I wrote it. And as time was going on and I was writing and writing, I was getting better. And I was getting better until I was improving. Some of you, you are waiting to become perfect before you do it. And that is causing you to be delayed. And up to now, you've done nothing. So I'm better than you. You are good in English. You are a better writer. That, but you, because you are waiting to, for the ideal time and perfection, you have never started. Me, I don't know no English. I don't know nothing. But at least I've written six books. Who is better off? Incremental improvement. Stepping out and doing it anyhow. And learning from your mistakes until you are perfected is better than the person who is waiting until they are perfected, until everything is right, until they have the right money, until they have, oh, you wait for a long time. As people like us who have nothing are still launching into a sit book. You see, this is our blessing in this book. Why shouldn't you get this book? I guess you got to get this book. This is one, this is one bonus part of it. And every chapter, you will get more than 200 of these things. These are wisdoms I, I give to you. Dangerous ones, you meditate on it to change your life. This book is dangerous. However, please forgive me. The person who was editing for me, I wanted this book out, out, out so quickly. So there's one or two typos. But I told you, incremental improvement is better than perfection. So we are still moving forward. I, try, I'm pl I pray that somebody will step out. Don't wait until you, you have the money. And some people are waiting. If I have the money, I'll start. You will never get the money. Start with what you have. Start with the little money you have. Start it. Step out anyway and do it anyhow. Start wherever you are. Start it anyhow. My first book, this was how it came. 
I didn't even know how. It, and the guy too, he didn't help me. He knew I was so ignorant about books. So look at the nasty cover and stuff he did for me. But I was appreciative because I had no idea what was. But at least I was happy. That at least I was getting my voice out there for somebody to know what is going on. God saw that this guy can make something out of the little. So God says, I'll bless him. And he kept on giving me more grace, more grace, more grace. Like play, like play. Today, six books are written. More are loaded in my spirit. And as I'm telling you, together, step out. I'm going to step out and keep on getting busy. Destiny is born. What is your destiny? Step out. Finish it. Be in the center of God's plan for your life. Get a book. Deliverance from Blessing Destroyers. Deliverance by Brother K. Go to Amazon, buy some for yourself, for your loved ones. It will help you. This is one, just one portion. One portion, just one portion. Great wisdom, great wisdom, great wisdom. This is when you are at lunchtime, you look at it. Don't just be reading it. It's philosophically, you need understanding. During lunchtime, you, you just go over those positive attitude for breakthrough and just take them one by one and think deeply, meditate on them and you'll find it changing your life because these are words of wisdom. Hallelujah. May the name of the Lord be glorified. Go to Amazon, www.amazon and type in deliverance from blessing destroyers or K-A-Y-B-O-A-C-H-I-E get a copy and it will be a blessing to you. So this is where we are going in this month of June and uh, we thank God for 